Howdy folks, hope you're all having a good one, and welcome back to Robocop Rogue City. We're at the county jail, owned and operated by OCP of course, and while Antonovsky may be behind bars, he's not safely behind bars, he's managed to instigate a prison riot. And by the sound of things, the prisoners have also managed to take over the prison's main broadcast system. I have to say, the taste of music isn't terrible. Uh, clearly this is all part of some kind of jailbreak scheme. Antonovsky's triggered this riot in order to provide cover for his breakout. I know he's not just going to be walking out of the main gate in the middle of a riot though, so... I mean, there's clearly more going on here than meets the eye. These scumbags got into the armory and are now handing out heavy weapons like fucking hot dogs at a football game. Alright, so I'm guessing you probably want me to do something about that then. Yeah, there's a number of subquests pop up here. As well as the armory break-in, um, they want you to shut down the prison radio. But the most important thing here, the main mission, is obviously going to be getting to Antonovsky before he manages to bust out of here. And that, with the riot going on, is going to be a lot easier said than done. It's important that you remember, although I don't know how important, because I, I don't think I accidentally shot any prisoner who didn't need shooting. Not all of the prisoners are actually involved in the riot. Was that a corrections officer? Is that what we call prison guards these days? Yeah, that makes sense. Where does this go? I think this is the armory. Let's just check around here first in case I missed anything. Yeah, stuff. Let's have a quick look at the map. Yep. Armory break-in, illegal broadcast, and Wendell's belongings. Okay, so let's deal with the armory break-in first. Maybe I can find some extra firepower. Objective complete. Oh, that was fairly straightforward. There's a lot of these Steyr Augs lying around, but they're not particularly useful. I mean, they're all right, but when you aim with them, you're forced to use the optics, and you really don't want to be doing that at close quarters indoors. Completely eliminates your entire field of vision. So, I mean, there's a couple of shotguns as well, but, eh, I'm hoping for a firepower upgrade, maybe a heavy machine. Well, uh, why would a prison armory have a heavy machine gun? <laughs> I mean, I know it's America, but come on. Uh, okay, so, armory break-in dealt with. Now we've got to sort out Wendell's confession, which I think means locating his cell, and also the prison radio submission. Now remember, not all of these prisoners are rioting, so you can't just gun down every prisoner that you see. Oh, I don't know, maybe you can. I mean, you probably shouldn't, uh, and I did take pains to not shoot at anybody who wasn't actively resisting. There were a couple of prisoners here in the cafeteria, dining hall, or whatever you call it, who were on their knees, and they're clearly not resisting. I don't know what happens if you do actually, or accidentally, shoot any of them, because I've been taking great pains to not do that. I imagine it probably wouldn't be good. Although realistically, I mean... If there are no witnesses, <laughs> they were shot resisting arrest. <laughs> Let's try not. Right, so apparently these guys are holding a bunch of prison informers in the kitchen cold storage room. Over here. We ended up here because of you in the first place. You were in no hurry, stupid guard. 
Oh, you're welcome. No. <laughs> It, it was the least I can do. Don't mention it. Yeah, these guys, there's a... Uh... Oh, the guards finally turned up. So glad you could make it. What's the word? I mean, they're calling them prison informers. Um, trying to remember. From Shawshank Redemption. Trustees. That's it. Yeah. Actually, no, that's not the same thing. A trustee is a prisoner who... Well, they're basically a model prisoner. Um, and in return for their good behaviour, they get given easy jobs put in positions of whoa trust and responsibility uh, but these guys are prison informers these are basically guys who rat out their fellow prisoners so probably not the most popular the kind of prisoner who gets voted most likely to get shanked in the event of a prison riot which is probably what was lying in wait for those guys if i hadn't busted them out of the freezer not that they seem particularly grateful about it this shotgun, by the way, it's very good in this mission because the prisoners are unarmoured. Get it reloaded before we breach. And shut down that radio. That's not a radio really, is it? The main broadcast system. The shotgun, of course, is a uh, Spaz-12. Technically a semi-automatic shotgun. Not as popular in reality as it is in the movies. This is another one of those 80s action movie staples, which of course is why it's here in the game. Uh, not a bad shotgun, very good shotgun in fact, just expensive. But it looks badass, so you're constantly seeing them in 80s action movies. Speaking of 80s action movies, I've noticed in the comments of these videos, there have been a number of people that have been saying that they've never actually seen the original Robocop movie. And as a result of these videos, they've gone and watched the movie and thoroughly enjoyed it. And, well, you're welcome. I'm really happy that, well, one, you're enjoying these videos, and two, it's inspired you to go and enjoy a bit of cinema history. Honestly, if you're watching this video and you have not actually seen the original Robocop movie, you owe it to yourself. And Robocop 2, which, it wasn't bad. But you can skip Robocop 3. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Let me just give you a couple of uh, little tidbits of movie trivia about the third movie in the series. Peter Weller refused to come back to play the role of Robocop once he read the script. <laughs> and, um, <laughs> oh, there's another one. Um, and the guy that they hired to play Robocop in the third movie, now I'm not saying he was a bad actor, he wasn't a bad actor, but the only reason he got the part was because he fit into the suit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, you know things are bad when the primary casting consideration is just hire somebody who fits into the suit so we don't have to spend money making a new one. <laughs> and uh, Nancy Allen, the actress who played Officer Lewis, Robocop's partner, she insisted that she be killed off early in the movie so she didn't have to put up with any more <laughs> of Robocop 3. Yeah, it's, it's never a good sign when the reaction that you get from most of the original cast is nope. Robocop, I owe you. We have to stop these creeps from taking over the prison. You bet we do. Wendell has to be behind this. I need to find him. I knew he was up to something. His cell is in Block B. And Robocop? Give him my regards. I will give him much more than that. Call me on the radio if you need me. The primary reason that Robocop 3 was made Sir, was not because they had an interesting story Let's that they wanted that to tell. Way. It was to sell action figures. Seriously, I'm, I'm not even being sarcastic about that. By the time Robocop 3 was made, um, Warden, do you have anything to say about this counterfeit money lying around in your office? <laughs> anyway, uh, well, oh yeah, Robocop 3. By the time Robocop 3 was made, um, most of the audience for Robocop 3, or Robocop at all, were children because of the Robocop Saturday morning cartoon show which meant they cut down drastically on all of the violence that had been a staple part of both Robocop and Robocop 2 uh, in order to get a film certificate that would allow children to go and watch the movie. 
So, Robocop the children's movie. You can imagine how good that was. Well, you don't have to imagine it. Unfortunately, you can still see it. Ironically, it was actually developed from a script written by Frank Miller. You know, the comics artist and writer. Famous for things like 300, Sin City. You can imagine how violent his original script was. Hello, you all right there? Having a nice rest? You don't have anything to do? Fine, whatever. Well, that script got butchered and what we ended up with was Robocop 3. Frank Miller was so disgusted with what Hollywood had done to his script. Whoa, it's uh, not what I expected on my first day. <laughs> first day. <laughs> yeah. Frank Miller was so disgusted with what Hollywood had done to his script that he basically left Hollywood and didn't come back for 13 years until Sin City in 2005. We need to seal off this area. If you go further, you won't be able to turn back. So, do you want to proceed? I am ready to proceed. Okay then, good luck. Miller had a few choice words to say about his experience working on the scripts for both Robocop 2 and 3. He was quoted as saying, Don't be the writer. The director's got the power. The screenplay is a fire hydrant and there's a row of dogs around the block waiting for it. Although if you want to see what his original idea for Robocop 3 was, it was eventually published in a eight-part comic book series called Robocop The Last Stand. Yeah, the only way he could get his original vision out there was to basically do it himself. Oh, what's this? It's like they're about to execute a bunch of guards. Okay, how do I get in? Through... Whoa! Who are these guys? Well, that's clearly not a SWAT team. They killed everybody, including the guards. Mercenaries. Robocop. New arrivals. I saw them. They must be the ones who released the prisoners. The riots are a smokescreen for Wendell. They're heading for his cell. I am on my way there now. I'm not an enemy. Yep, yeah, that's why you're not dead. There are a number of, I suppose you could call them side missions in this prison. Well, not really side missions exactly, maybe more random encounters. But everybody that you've arrested and sent to jail, in one way or another, is here in the jail. And there's a chance, if you check out every corner of the prison, that you'll run into them. I missed most of them on this playthrough, though. Oh, there's a... Thank you for your cooperation. Uh, <laughs> there's a new game plus uh, available here in Robocop as well. So if you finish the original game, you can start again uh, from the beginning, but with all of the skill points that you've accumulated and all of the PCBs, the printed circuit boards, for the Beretta Auto Mag. Because on a single playthrough, you're never going to maximise all of your skills, but you can do it if you start again on a new game plus. Let's just say, because I have actually completed the game twice now, let's just say that things went significantly easier on my second playthrough. There's Wendell's cell. How do I get up there? Oh! And not just because of the various different skill points, but there's, um... How do I put this? There's one motherboard in particular. And it, at first glance, looks terrible. But it is easily the best motherboard in the game. And I can't remember at what point I got it, but when I do, I will be sure to show you the difference. Can't get that guy's on the other side of an armoured glass window. Right, Antonovsky's cell. Here we go. And he's not here, of course. I was too late. Wendell's cell is empty. Intruders beat me to it. Robo, I'm just getting a signal that the hostiles were spotted moving towards the property store. Wendell included. I will meet them there. I could be wrong, but Wendell appears to be obsessing about something. <laughs> oh, where did these buggers come from? I thought I killed everybody in there. Right. So, 
some kind of mercenary team swooped in under cover of the riot and they're in the process of busting him out and my vision's obscured by this steam and night vision doesn't appear to be helping oh there they are mercenaries shit grenade dash forward knock him over finish him off that also works oh missed one right oh god i missed more than one Wow, that was intense. Yeah, these guys are a bit of a step up from the normal grunts that you've met this far. Uh, they're armed and armoured way better. I mean, that, that's basically a Walther WA-2000. Another futuristic sci-fi gun. That was Walther's attempt to commercialise the use of caseless ammunition. It kind of failed. I mean, there wasn't really anything wrong with the gun itself it was just way too expensive i think the only people that ever actually used it was some west german police units i dropped it here because it well it's a bullpup caseless sniper rifle which is no use whatsoever for indoors unfortunately while the shotgun was great against the prisoners because they were unarmored it's not much use against these guys and these are just the grunt mercenaries there are more heavily armored versions don't worry, we're going to be seeing them sooner rather than later. And I'm really going to struggle against them, even with the Beretta. I lost my hand. You hear him crying, I lost my hand! Well, don't put it in front of your face then. <laughs> uh, right. Whoa! Oh, he went down a lot quicker and easier than I was anticipating. Oh, here we go. Some of the, um, as I was talking about earlier, um, some of the people that you've arrested, you have a chance of running into them when you're here in the prison. So this is the arcade owner from the downtown arcade who was uh, selling drugs for suit. Looks like one of the prisoners has tied him up to old Sparky. Actually, more than one. Quick, before someone throws the switch! Good, good. Not such a can-headed piece of shit after all. That's what the other inmates call you, but I, I don't. <laughs> Not anymore, at least. <laughs> Thank you. It's nice to see how well he's adapting to the whole prison experience. Oh, where's he gone? He's buggered off. <laughs> okay. I can use these uh, fuse panels now to recover health. Saves on recovery charges. So, um, we're still chasing down Wendell, aren't we? The main mission prompt right now is saying, reach the prison depository. Why is Wendell in such a rush to reach the depository rather than just getting his ass out of... Oh, that doesn't look good. Yeah, why is he in such a rush to reach the depository? In case you're wondering, the depository is when you're admitted into prison, all of your personal belongings get deposited in the depository. So, personal belongings. He wants his lighter, doesn't he? That's why he's not in any rush to leave until he's got it. And at this stage in the game, Robocop still hasn't figured out that the lighter is what's triggering his glitches. Oh, this can't be good. Here, here we go. Merc leader. Very heavily armoured. And increases enemy morale. Extremely heavily armoured. I need to put this guy down fast. So, dash, shields up, punch him, keep him stunned. And yeah, he, he actually took a fair bit of killing. And now, of course, we've got to deal with all the rest of his guys. But they're not doing as much damage now that I've taken the lead with. That doesn't mean they're not doing any damage, because they're still pretty nasty. Oh, shotgun is going to be no good here. I need to get close. Oh, that's a grenade. Come on, can I have my health? Use these recovery charges. Actually, you know, that once you get good and close, the shotgun isn't that bad. But you really do have to be at point blank range. K 
can I show you what a difference it makes if you've got the right motherboard equipped dealing with these guys? Right. Now that I'm no longer in immediate danger of dying, that was actually really tough. But with the correct motherboard in this gun, fights like this, even against heavily armoured enemies, become almost trivial. This is more or less the same point in the game, but this time with the tier 6.2 motherboard equipped and maxed out. Now unfortunately, it's not actually available at this point, so this is from my New Game Plus playthrough. Full auto, maxed out armor penetration, infinite reload. Makes quite a difference, doesn't it? Compare that to the number of shots it takes to put down a nerf leader without that motherboard. Yeah. Having the right motherboard equipped makes quite a difference, I'm sure you'll agree. Anyway, finally make it to the depository. Too late, of course, Wendell's already been here, and it's not good news. Last week I finished organizing the stuff down here with a brand new system, and today, those fuckers showed up and messed everything up. Where did they go? To the parking lot. You have to bust them. I'll be cleaning this shit up until retirement. Obviously, Wendell got here ahead of me, and he's got his lighter back which is the only possible reason he would have wasted time coming here in order to recover it rather than just getting the hell out of Dodge with his mercenaries. And the fact that he did stop here before making a clean break for it still hasn't occurred to Robocop that there's maybe something important about that lighter. I mean, I'm not saying I figured out its significance the first time he used it, but I was certainly suspicious, and the second time he used it, my suspicions were confirmed. I guess Robocop just has to figure it out the hard way. Yeah, I'm, this version of the Beretta that I'm using without the tier 6.2 on the board isn't bad. Oh, <laughs> that was good. Uh, and to a degree, you can kind of deal with the more heavily armoured enemies by just shooting them in the balls. <laughs> <laughs> All these guys with body armor and helmets, just shoot them in the balls. Or use the tier 6.2 motherboard and just hose them all down with armor penetrate and full auto. That works too. I'm not sure why the mission prompt is still saying reach the prison depository. I mean, the depository is about 100 meters back the way I came. Can I maybe shoot the fuel tank? Oh god, you know what, that's not. I was hoping I could maybe shoot the fuel tank for that truck and just kill them all in an explosion. But it was not to be... Oh, I blew something up. That worked. All this smoke isn't helping matters, of course. Even the robo is moving. Properly locking onto them through the smoke. That's a real pain in the ass. Here they come. Still got three recovery charges. This, this is fine. None of them are dropping anything particularly useful, though. I mean, I'll take extra recovery charges. Who is that? It's like there's somebody up there on the... up there, but... You see the compass at the top of the screen? There's an indicator. And I keep getting shot at when I stand in that corner, but I can't actually see anybody up there. Oh, this is... 
Yeah. You know what? Yeah, there's somebody in there shooting at me. You know, I can fix this by just going around the corner. Because if they can't come after me, why bother? It's really annoying though. I mean, I might have found a bug. Anyway, uh, I have more pressing concerns. People in front of me that I can actually kill. Stunned. I really must use that more often. Shields up. There's a lot of leaders here. It's a uh, melee in the sky. Got one in front and behind. Be careful. I could die. Where are you? Oh, yeah. Blown up the trucks. That's, wow, that didn't even kill him. Holy shit. Standing right next to an exploding truck and it didn't kill him. Okay. There you are, you little bastard. Gotcha. Is that all of them? No, it's not. There's still one of them hiding behind that barrier. You know, with a tier 6.2 motherboard, you could just shoot right through it. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> okay, that was the last one. Uh, plot time. Can't you get it through that thick skull? You're supposed to stay away from my business if you want to get your past life back. How about we save part of that life right now? I sent some guns to the hospital to rectify my mistake and finish the job with your friend Lewis. But it was before we talked. I would have called off the hit but I had to take care of you and your fellow guards. So, I guess it's over to you. And you better hurry. Honestly, I don't know how much more obvious that lighter of his needs to be before Robocop puts two and two together and gets four. Anyway. Um, it's not like I can chase after him, he's in a helicopter. And he sent a hit squad to the hospital to deal with Lewis, so... Well, it looks like they're here. And it doesn't look like they're being particularly fussy about who they kill. Fortunately, or unfortunately, depending on your perspective... Casualties at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I need assistance possible hostiles in the vicinity. I've seen Robocop 3, so I know Lewis is in no danger because she's alive in, well, for at least the first 10 minutes of that. <laughs> so, <laughs> on that not quite a bombshell, that's where we're going to leave it for today. Join us in the next episode to find out whether or not Lewis... No, <laughs> this is absolutely not a cliffhanger. She's going to be fine. She's entirely capable of taking care of herself. Nevertheless, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. And as always, take care, and I'll catch you next time.